So today I'm in Amman, Jordan, and I'm gonna do an Instagram followers control my day here in the Middle East. So I posted polls on Instagram. How do you guys choose what we should do? I'm here with Sarah. Hi. So if you're new here, my name's Taylor. I lived here 10 years ago, studied in Jordan, and I yep. lived with them, and I come back. I had, I have the perfect sister ever. Oh, uh, <laughs> I paid her to say that. Oh no. So if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you wanna see more videos. Yeah. So we're starting off with breakfast. Typically, we would eat eggs here, maybe with like za'atar. I'll post a photo of what like kind of a normal breakfast looks like here, but you guys voted to go get falafel. So it's very like touristy, but the most popular place, right? Yeah. Is Hashem. Yeah, Hashem. And like yeah, all popular figures and stuff, they went there when they came here in Jordan. I still think if you're visiting Jordan, like you should go to Hashem. It's just like cool to see a cool experience. So we'll tell you what to order if you're going there and make it easy, but we're going down. Downtown. So downtown is like the older old Amman. If you're coming here, definitely leave downtown. Like it's really cool to see and there's like, you know, the mosque and there's the Roman Did ruins. <laughs> yeah. The Roman citadel is downtown. There's like things to see for sure, but definitely see the rest of Amman too because <laughs> Yep, there's a lot of the other things than like the downtown in Amman. So. Mm -hmm. Yellow? Yeah. That's how touristy this place is, just FYI. <laughs> As you can hear, <laughs> uh, we tried to go to the, the mosque, the famous mosque. Uh, it's under construction currently, so. <laughs> Like Snickers, and they take it with to the gym because it has high protein. Because the peanuts, it's their pre-workout. Okay. Yep, and the sugar will give you like energy. Yummy. I got lemon and mint, and I got and she got pina colada. It's very refreshing. Mm. Right. That's so good. Mm. Found it. Yeah, it's really cool. 
So in Jordan, there's these guys who go, they're like on the side of the road and they have these silver trays and they just bring coffee into your car. This is how you order coffee if you do the drive up. Okay, yellow. Without sugar. And how much normally is should it be? Like two JDs maybe. For three cups. Three cups. Normally I like standing right there and like just come up to your car. My first time drinking. Beer. I know, I've never seen you drink coffee. Yeah, that's my first time. We're headed to what are we doing? No, what are we doing right now with your dad? Yes, we're gonna go surprise Zayd at work because he won over Zayd. Okay, we go. Wow, are you so surprised? What a nice surprise! <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't get in downstairs without calling. day we're continuing on our day and control my day is now turning into like three or four days <laughs> so we had you vote between two different mosques the, the main one, one the oldest one and the biggest one yes the one we were gonna go do downtown is closed because there's construction so we're just gonna go look at another mosque this one looks pretty what area is this one then Jbeha. Jbeha. Mm -hmm. oh. You're the main character <laughs> okay what should they know about mosques when entering mosque you have to wear like long sleeves and wear something that cover your hair uh, take off your shoes so i brought a sweater thing and then i also brought like a headscarf and then i'm wearing leggings make your phone at so in silent and stuff like this like if you're in a middle eastern country you'll hear the call to prayer five times a day can men and women go in the same actually it's the same mosque but it's like there's area for a man and there's area for a woman like they don't see each other and is it certain times a day or like like right now it looks like a lot of people are walking in uh, today because it's just called for the prayer like during the day there's people like go there there is put on just uh, for sitting in the mosque on their own time yeah mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my scarf on mm -hmm. that's good should I take my hair out of a ponytail yeah but it okay. <laughs> or lower it yeah. okay put it in like a mid bun we will cover hair here we just like like this we'll let this cover yeah. Just like that. Just like that, and just let it like turn it inside. Like this. Yeah, wow, look at us. Yeah, you look beautiful. We're trying to find the women's entrance here. So here they it's called Masjid al Imam, which means the house of the Imam who like call for the prayer. They usually make him a small house next to the mosque so he can come easily anytime. It's the same guy who does it five times a day? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So he just lives here and does that? That's his full-time yes. job? Yeah. Does he do other stuff? 
And the mask? There's people do uh, yeah. Trying to find the women's entrance. I think it's over here. I mean, the guys were going in on the other side, so seems right. So the women's entrance is locked. <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> we're kind of failing on the on the whole mosque front. This one, the women, the men's section was open. The women's section was totally closed. locked and closed. Yeah. So we're trying to find a third one now. I don't know. I feel like there's a mosque every like four blocks. Yeah. So. We should be able to find one. <gasps> we just went to a third mosque. This one also has the women's section under close. Under construction. Is it? Yeah. Or do we have another one to go to? Number four, we tried. Bye. Bye. Welcome to Agati. Agati is one of the best sweets in Jordan. So welcome to Amman and Jordan. <laughs> As you saw, we, we have two kinds of uh, kunafa, which is the first one, which is soft. It comes with a soft cover. Say thank you, sister. No, no, no. <laughs> and the other one is crispy. It comes like a crispy uh, top, that's it. And what's the name of the crispy one like this? It's khishna, the crispy is khishna and the soft is naam. How do you order it? Or maybe if there's like two people, how much should they order? Maximum, yani, five, no, no, it's like half kilo. Half kilo, yeah. maximum? Okay, yeah. here we go. Mm. <laughs> Okay, it's the morning after the beef tongue has been acquired. <laughs> I ate it yesterday. I gave it a seven out of 10, so I'm not super excited for this, but we're doing it. This is like the famous place, but they said that normally there's like a lot more stuff on it. I don't, did we just order the wrong thing? No, like, they didn't ask, ask us. They, yeah, they didn't ask if we wanted to add stuff, but normally there's like peppers like, and sauce or something. Yeah, and like leafy things, like vegetables and stuff. Oh, and really? onion, yeah. Oh, okay. This one's literally just like the bread, the tongue. Is there anything on it? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. No. Oh, great. And also, I thought it was beef tongue. It's actually sheep tongue. Yeah. Here we go. Also, I haven't eaten anything today. Yes, yeah, the first this thing the in the um, in an empty stomach. Empty stomachs. Oh, by the way, I did eat kershat. Kershat? Kershat. Kershat. I did eat kershat. The intestines, we had it like with dinner the other night. She had already made it frozen, so we just heated it up. That one I really liked. The intestines, you clean it out, it's stuffed with rice and stuff, and that one I would totally eat again. That was good. It's like a tortilla. It's like a burrito. Let's see. Okay, Let's see how. Just a minute. It just smells like tortilla. Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I was worried. I think if I didn't know what it was, it would be fine, but because I know what it is. But it's not bad. It's not bad. It just tastes like 
It kind of tastes like lamb, actually. Yeah. Like the tangy, tangy kind of taste it's of soft, lamb. It's soft. Just it's unique, but it's soft, and it's not chewy or something. Yeah, you know. I'm gonna do one more bite. You want some? Yeah. Tastes like meat. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> hey, mud. Come from eat this. <laughs> Okay, we're in Abdu and we're gonna try this place called Shai Wanana, aka Tea and Mint. It looks busy, so it's a good sign during the day because mostly during the day in Amman, things are pretty empty. It's a good sign if something's busy during the day because things really get busy at night. guys voted for Sarah to do my makeup. This is a different day. We're blending these all into, into one video. Yeah. She's gonna do just my eyes because I have like a little bit of face. I just have like a powder kind of on right now and eyebrows, so. Yep. I'm gonna do my Let's eyes. Go. Let's go. You don't wanna put primer? Uh, no, so that's primer. Okay. Because primer, it, yeah, it makes your eyes we feel sticky and stuff. I don't like, I don't feel it. Okay, if this makeup artist doesn't use primer. Yeah. Uh, I use uh, this, uh, how like they do, like they... Yeah, there you go. Uh-huh. Wet and wild. Just trust the process. Maybe it will look weird <laughs> at first. I will trust. It. So guys, uh, to make the eye look uh, bigger, oh, we should put like a light shade. We will mix the two shades here, the shimmer one and the normal one together. Mm -hmm. And we will put it right there. Oh, well, that feels good. Yeah, now all your cheeks are sparkles. I'm gonna fall asleep. We tap it in, not like swipe it, just to get the color. Is it sticking? Yeah. Without primer? Did you see? Just listen to me. Ooh. Now we will get uh, a darker shade, like in transition shade. I will use this one. We will put it in the crease. That's called crease. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like the brush. Very good. Wow. Wow. Don't move. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Now I'll put a darker shade. I don't know. What should I use the darker shade? I'll go with this one. Taylor, don't look. Why? You're gonna love it. Oh, tell them where like the most popular Jordanian makeup stores are. I mean, there's like Mikiaji, a place called Mikiaji. What was it called? Oh, it started with like an uh, R. Oh, Real Cosmetics. Oh, yeah. Charmiran. There's no Sephora here yet, which is yeah. weird. Because people are really into makeup here, so I feel like it would it do good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, I didn't, I forgot to tell you. I'm using the darkest shade now. I'll just, like, in the corners. Not the corners, after, after yeah, corners. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a Makeup Forever store here. Uh, MAC. Oh yeah, there's MAC stores. But Sarah gets a lot of her makeup from Shein. Yeah, I have Shein. But they are like, uh, I read something, Taylor sent me actually something. Yeah, they're not, not great. <laughs> yeah, they have some substances that yeah, maybe toxic. Yeah. yeah. I like it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Double hands. <laughs> we can't forget the button. Oh, Taylor! I love it! Wow. Are you going to do makeup every day? Well, I love it. Do you have like a thinner one? Now we will get the darkest one. I have a black shadow too. A single Where is shadow. It? All I'm thinking about is Mahalo. Mahalo. Mahalal. 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 Not Moo. Mahalal. 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 Mahalal, you say. Say it again. Mahalal. Mahalal. Yes. Mahalal. I really don't know how to contour my face, so hopefully <laughs> yes, I Yes, you can. do. No. Whoa. Blend it before it dries. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> we blend it uh, upwards. Or let's do the side first because it has more product, so it will transfer to the brush and we will like. Mm. I like your strategy. Actually, I have work in like 30 minutes. <laughs> wow. Wow. Where's your lip uh, oh. bag? My lips are still swollen. We're like, how many days ago did I do this? Four days? Like four days after lip filler, so they're looking big still. We're doing a redo on the lips. She's doing her lip products. I'm using Maybelline uh, lipsticks. I don't know, lip gloss? I don't know. It's, are they're the glossy, but when they dry, they get, get uh, like, matte. Like matte, yeah. Number 15, peachy on the all, whole lips. Is what you do? Yeah. And now I will use uh, 10 know. lippy. 
I'll put it inside. Open your mouth. Oh, you're doing the Korean thing? Yeah. Oh, to make it look smaller? Yeah. Yeah, good. No, I like try to make like... Can I use my yeah. hands? Oh. <laughs> now I want to use a gloss. We're now using this glossy thing. Very pair. Oh my god. Look, look now you, you can see them. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I like that lip. That's right. a good combo. Yeah. I didn't really like it. It's super glossy. Looks so pretty. She put the blush right here to do the sun kiss thing, which I actually have never done on myself. And on, on her chin. Mm hmm. Looks good. Wow. See? <laughs> what do I make it tomorrow? Yeah, you look <laughs> every day. Every day. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, so that wraps up my day in the Middle East that turned into like five different days that you guys voted on. Sorry that didn't quite go as planned, but hopefully you still enjoyed it. Got to see some Jordan things. If you are traveling here for the first time, definitely you gotta go outside of Oman as well. Spend a few days in Oman, but go to Petra, Wadi Rum. There's a bunch of other places in Jordan that you definitely need to see. But I hope this helped give some insight into Arab culture, some things you should check out while you're here. By the way, we didn't eat it in this video, but mensef is a traditional Jordanian dish you definitely have to try it while you're here I prefer it with chicken but a few names of places in Amman that you should check out while you're here I'll leave down below in the description box if you want to see more Jordan things you can head over to my Instagram I document my travels there and I have different country and city highlights for each place there's a Jordan highlight from last year and then one from this year but I love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye